Guys, let no one deceive you. No matter what. No matter who says what, when. Let no one deceive you. Today, the Minister of Electricity, hey, we are very thankful for the men and the women who are working very hard at ESCOM in ending. Lo hey, load shedding hasn't ended, guys. We are celebrating uh, 40 days of uncapped electricity. Hey, guys, guys, don't be fooled. I'm going to play you a video. Don't be fooled. Don't. Do no, no, me, no, me, guys, I'm begging you, no matter what. Hey, even if you are drunk, even if the food you are enjoying at the restaurant is so nice, do not think for a second that the ANC have ended load shedding. Never. And I'm going to tell you soon, soon why I'm saying that. No matter, even if you are dating the most beautiful slay queen ever, uh, don't be drunk by her beauty. Even if you are dating the most moneyed man, do not be drunk by that. When you see ANC and you think of low trading, just know that it's a combination of bad news. Full stop. Do not hesitate. Bad news. Those two, ESCOM, ANC equals to ESCOM equals to low trading. The reason low trading is suspended is because you have to vote for ANC. Let me let me let, let me prove to you because you uh, you 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 like your 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 concentration span is so so low. Let me prove to you. Do you, do you remember what happened to the, the, when, when when there was a uh, well, like, uh, rugby World Cup? Do you remember that we didn't have low trading? Do you remember what happened? Soon after that, that thing was over. Do you remember what happened? We went back to... Uh, finish it for me. Do you remember what happened during the uh, local, uh, uh, like, uh, rugby World Cup? Do you remember what happened concerning low trading? Right? Also, you remember that we didn't have low trading. Uh -huh. You remember? So, at the end of that event, what happened? What happened? Didn't low trading came back in full swing? Do you remember what happened uh, when Bafana Bafana was playing? Why was low trading? Do you remember that low trading didn't care about the Bafana Bafana uh, playing in the African Cup, right? Uh-huh. That the bro great one. I'm, I'm glad you remember that one. Uh-huh. That one. So, if you think for a second that low trading has ended, Oh, think twice. Not in this country. Low trading has not ended. There's something as well. I know. I know. You guys can easily get. You guys have got a problem easily forgetting. See, here. We must be there to remind you that. Uh -uh. Don't be deceived. Boy. 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 Low trading is still there. It's just. It just got suspended. For the sake of elections. But it's still there. Hey, Vuga, but uncapped electricity now. They think that a ANC has changed. I boo, I boo, I boo, I boo, I hey, Kuzera, Kuzera. Low shedding is still there. But get, I'll prove to you that low shedding is still there. Listen, I still request that you do the following. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people, because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge, to click the notification bell it is free of charge, to share this video it is free of charge, to watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean come on, to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed oh right right hey, I, i'm just if you think that the anc they mean good then you are mistaken you really don't know the anc you don't know a anc i'm telling you when you have got no idea of what the anc is capable of tell me something if they are not planning to have low, if they are planning to end load shading, they are working towards ending load shading. 
why are they approving load shedding stages, even stage 16? Why are they approving it? If they are planning to end load shedding, don't be deceived. You cannot prepare for a divorce in a marriage that is going well. For the fact that, that you are now getting lawyers that are the divorce lawyers, blah, blah, it means you are now preparing to get divorced. It can't be. Like, guys, please, please, come on. Come back to your senses. Like, I, I, mean, I mean, I'm very jealous of you. I don't want anybody to play you. Why are they preparing for load shedding stages even more if there is no load shedding? We will not have load shedding after this. So why are they preparing for most, even stage 16, why are they approving it? If they are not pre we are preparing to have zero load shedding. Do you see that you are being lied to? Broad daylight. My responsibility is to awaken you and say, hey, vuk, 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 vuk. ANC say, Kali, vuga. Take a look at what the Minister of Electricity has got to say here. Our work will be characterized by transparency, uh, candidness, and, and robustness. So this is uh, in keeping with the promise that we, we have made. I also want to really say that um, we have seen a, an exceptional run of uh, no load shedding for a considerable period of time. I think today marks uh, 40 days without um, um, interruption of uh, power supply. And I really want to pause here and just uh, express my most sincere appreciation on behalf of the uh, cabinet and I'm sure the, the people of the country to the men and women at OSCOM for, for the work that they, they are doing, the diligent commitment, um, ensuring that they, they do everything possible to address uh, the challenge of load shedding. Of course, uh, an argument can be made that this is what is expected of them. Yes, it is expected of them. But I'm sure you know that we're moving from an exceptionally difficult situation. And um, a lot of uh, pundits uh, had uh, suggested that um, the kind of run that we are experiencing it will not be possible uh, in the current calendar year. It's something that can only be experienced in uh, starting 2025. But uh, as a result of the work that the team has done, some of which I'll be sharing with you, we are beginning to see uh, the kind of improvements that we, we are seeing. And then the other part to make is uh, ESCOM uh, delivered to the country uh, the winter outlook, uh, as is uh, the custom. ESCOM does uh, on two occasions in a year, uh, do what they call the summer outlook and also do what they call the winter outlook, essentially generating three scenarios that they project uh, going into the future. The first scenario is an optimistic scenario, then there's a likely or possible scenario, or if you like, the middle scenario and uh, the worst case scenario. They delivered this uh, winter plan on the 26th of, uh, of April and generated a number of scenarios. The biggest takeaway for me uh, out of that uh, the winter outlook is a confirmation that there's a structural improvement in relation to uh, generation in the country. Another problem here is that why are they are you being told to celebrate that there is no load shedding? Uh -uh. Guys, you do not celebrate something that is supposed to be yours. That's the problem. We can't clap hands and say, oh, ah, uh ah, -uh, uh -uh. It's like uh, you see a human being who is breathing and you're like, ah. Congratulations! You are breathing. You're supposed to breathe for you to live. That's it. It's supposed to be a norm. Load shedding, having no load shedding is supposed to be a norm. It's not an upgrade. It's you going back to your norm. Now you must upgrade from your norm. So don't don't celebrate it. Do not allow these deceivers to deceive you like and say load shedding is ah uh, ah. Uh, hey, these deceivers, these liars of not, they are telling you that. They are making it like an achievement. Ah uh ah. -uh. Ah uh ah. -uh. If they achieved, even now, you can't tell me 
because they've never come sign the public and sign a statement and say no load shedding from now we are done and they are saying they are still saying not long ago the very same minister was saying there's a possibility that load shedding will return so don't celebrate don't don't please i'm warning you i mean i mean not because i love you i'll warn you don't celebrate it's too early for you to, ce to celebrate they are setting you up don't celebrate okay let me let me tell you this there was a low trade there was a time where low trading look where this country had a low trading under the zuma administration it took them five months and they ended this thing called low trading right machela coco and brian Mlife being uh, playing a very important roles and the other people that we don't even know uh who deserves uh the, who deserves this but we don't get to know them so we'll always reference these two because they were in our in front of our eyes unfortunately to those that we don't know right please forgive us uh, but they played an important role after that five months the end low trading was ended then the government of the time issued a statement and say never will these people experience low trading and that was the local from jacob zuma jacob zuma Jacob Zuma was there brrr, until the ANC decided to recall him. Then low trading came back once he was recalled. This current administration has never ended low trading, right? You have, you know most they are flip flopping when it comes to low trading. Today they are saying this, tomorrow they are saying this. They, they, you can never trust them. Anything that comes from their mouth, it's never trusted. Politicians generally, you can't trust them, right? It's a fact. But these ones are, are worse. Yeah, but not these ones, the one that we have now, don't trust them, even further. Those ones are more are, are the most horrible ones in terms of trust. They say this, we are going to do one million. The next day, I, you know, I've never promised you one million houses. Low trading is going to be the, is the thing of the past. Then low trading January comes in full swing and then they say, all right, don't ask us, are we working at ESCOM? Why are you making an announcement? If you are not working as ESCOM, you are a, a, a government in power. You're supposed to answer all such questions, but they are not there to answer such questions. Why? Right? Now, now you, you look, they want a campaign using all low trading. No, 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 no. Don't be fooled. If, why are they preparing stage six? Look, why are they signing about stage 16, approving it, if they are not preparing to have low trading? Right there, it shows that the ANC is lying to you. You don't, you, you have an untapped electricity now because it's electric time. When, the, the, when we go back to the norm, guys, I'm telling you, Mina, now, uh, we have heard um, through trusted sources that they, they are like, hey, guys, please, please, after elections, please prepare for something worse is going to happen in this country. Load shedding is one of them. Low trading is gonna come back in full swing, and uh, you guys are gonna you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna struggle a lot after e e look after um, elections, guys. So they are saying prepare for something worse. So do not allow these deceivers here who are saying making you celebrate uh, forty days of no low trading. Hey, 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 